Alan, congratulations. You've just made history here at Alexandra Palace. We can see by the look on your face, you're over the moon. Just try and put into words how you're feeling right now. Um, I'm trying to put into words, but I honestly, I'm speechless. I'm so happy I'm over the moon. I'm so proud of myself and I'm proud for what I've done for Lady Starks. Do you always believe that game was in there? I knew it was in there, but whether it was going to come up on the stage was a different matter. I mean, obviously, I always believe in myself. So the fact that I did it, I'm just so proud of myself. Third set when you missed the four match start, or oh, sorry, four set start. Did you think that was maybe the opportunity gone? Um, a little bit, but then I forgot about, like, on the next set, I forgot all about that last set, and I just focused on each leg as it come after that, because I didn't think to worry about the set that's just gone, that it's gone, there's nothing I can do about it, so I just focused on the next set from then. When you step up with match starts in your hand, what's going through your mind? Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just, like, took a couple of deep breaths and just threw for it and just aimed for it, obviously, and then... Honestly, when it went in, I, I couldn't believe it. I was so happy, like, and I'm still so happy about it. You've made a World Championship final. Does this moment eclipse that? I think this moment is better because I've just made history for women's darts. So to me, I've just made myself like so proud of myself. I mean, if, if I was to win a World Championship, that would be great, but this moment is definitely the best moment I've had. Again, that crowd absolutely loved you. Just what was that like playing in front of a packed Alexandra Palace. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, obviously, I've never played in like uh, somewhere with, where it's had that many like people in the audience. So oh, it was overwhelming. Like it was great. I couldn't believe it. Like it was so exciting. I enjoyed every minute of it. Like thank you everyone for who was there. Fallon, you're not just part of dark history tonight. You're part of sporting history. Just how special does that feel? Really, really special. I mean, I can't believe what I've just done. <laughs> I mean, 19, 146 maximum is as good as we've seen in terms of scoring so far. What sort of statement does this send out for the ladies' game? Um, well, it definitely sends out a good statement. I mean, we can all play like that. It's just giving us the opportunity to prove ourselves. And I think we need more opportunities to prove ourselves. And we can be like the men. And I think going into the closing stages, were you thinking about making history at all? Or were you able to just block it out and focus on it? I blocked it out and I just focused on it. I didn't think anything because I didn't want to put pressure on myself. Thank you. Fallon, congratulations. Um, normally you don't play these long formats. Was it hard just to go on and on and on? Um, not really. I mean, I've been practicing longer formats, um, so that's helped a lot with, like, obviously practice and stuff like that. But, yeah. And in the last set, well, uh, two 0 up, and then he won won the third leg, and uh, you also had some scores in the fourth. Like which which weren't really there, but but uh, how did you did you kept going? Um, I just kept thinking, just go steady, just go steady, and just hope for your opportunity, and then if you get it, just take it. A three days break now until you play Mensa Sulevich in the second round. Are you are you glad for this because you can sort out all, all the things, all, all all the things which will come now, media and, and all that stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm quite happy to have a little break from it and uh, just go back to my home life and all that and then come back and prepare myself for the next game, yeah. Will there be any practice or, or just try to relax and, and, and calm down and, and enjoy the moment? Uh, a bit of both. Um, I'll try and relax but obviously keep up my practice and stuff like that and hopefully we'll perform again on Saturday. Thanks a lot. There's a moment when you walked out for your walk on the gym. Did you say, oh my god, oh, what's the right effect? What, what, was it, what was it like when you hit Because the crowd were right behind you from the moment they saw you tonight. Oh, it was, it was unreal. Like, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. So it, it was just amazing. It was the other night against Makura. The crowd got involved later on, but from the very first time, you obviously took that big finish early on. How much did that calm you down? Uh, it calmed me down quite a lot because I felt a lot of support from everyone. Like, yeah, it really helped. When you hit back-to-back -back 180s as well, how nervous were you going up for that 1-4-1? One, one? Um, I weren't really nervous, I was just sitting there thinking, don't hit me for that one. And then I hit me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cheers. Well, and what are your tactics going to be against Mensi or Saturday what? night, your tactics? Um, I'm just going to play my normal game and then see how it goes, really. I mean, it's quite an atmosphere tonight. What's it going to be like on Saturday night? Um, I can imagine it's probably going to be the same, um, maybe a bit more 
for Mensa. I mean, I'm so excited, I can't wait. If you would have a wish to the PDC, uh, what they should do for women in darts, what would it be? Um, probably to give women a bit more opportunities, like maybe like a couple of extra spaces or something for this. I mean, like I've just proved we can beat the men, and there's people who like can play like me, if not better. So you will see a lot more men lose, to be honest. It's just proving ourselves that's what we need.